Hi, I'm Omid and I'm here to show you four different ways to referring previous rows in Power Query. In Power Query, there are some situations that you have to refer to the previous row, which is really challenging because if you have a large database, it's really time consuming. But here I will show you four different ways, which the last one is more efficient to do this. In the first way, I'm going to use the merge. Consider this example. It's in Cloud Mouse and says, I will consider the mouse column as an index. But if you do not have such column, you can easily add an index column from add columns and then pick index columns. But here I have the mouse column and I will use it. So in the first way, I just need to create a one column which each row refer to the value of previous month. So I will say, let's create a custom column. I call it as a previous month. And then I will use months minus one. So see, this is zero, one, two, and 11. If I merge this column with itself, and provide the value of previous months here, I have solved the problem. So let's back to the home tab. Let's say merge the queries. This table with itself, yeah. Consider this column for the first table and this column for the second table. See, it means that provide the value of one, which is the first month for the second rows in this table. See the result, I press okay and I will extract the sales value. See in the result the sort order is changed. Let me sort it again in ascending, yeah. And here is the none because we do not have any previous rows. And for this one, we have the sales value in the previous month. For this one, we have the sales value for the previous month. It does solve the problem in efficient way, but is not efficient for huge database. In the second solution, I will use the filter commands. I can add the custom columns and say second solution. And here I will use the source table. Source and yeah, just one S. And press OK. See the result. This is the whole table in the source table. I need to filter those values which months is equal to zero for this row. And for this one, I need to filter the rows which the months is one. So back to the formula, I will say table select rows in the source table. I will use X to nominate each row of the source table and underscore represent each row of this table. So if X column months is equal to underscore column months minus one. And this is the result. Yeah, we have something. Yeah. See, in this table, we have the value of on uh, months one. Here, we have the values on months four, actually previous months. We do not need the result in type table. We just need the value on the sales column. So let's add sales in capital S and then zero as the first row. So this is the result exactly the same as previous one, but it needs even more times for solve the problem in this way, because for each row, it's going to filter the whole table and it's really, really uh, extensive in terms of times. In the third solution, I want to use a list function. So let's back to the source table, say remove all the columns remove until end and 
here I will add an step and say table to, to columns yeah and see the result this is the first column this is the second column and I'm going to add a new list to this which is similar to this list the sales value but it's started by not like the previous step and it doesn't include the last one as our data are sorted if I merge this list with the previous one I solve the problem so let's see I will add this one with the source column sales source table column sales see we have first column second column but this one I, I will change it to the third list but at now let's neglect it because uh, I want to show the results so I will add something here let's say no and and here see here we have null here which is the, I add, assign it to the value of sales for the first month this is the for the second month and the same for other I do not need the last one so let's say list remove last remove last and save one yeah I remove the last one and now I can put all this part into one list and see the result yeah this is the month's value this is the sales value for each month and this is exactly the sales value but shifted one row down and put the null for the first one now I can use table from columns and close the parenthesis and see the result yeah see this is the value of previous month previous month and the same for others for the column names also I can use the second argument on table dot from columns and say a table column names from the source means that pick the column column title from the source table and add the previous sales as a new column so this is the solve case so in this third solution I use the list function if you have too much columns it's still time consuming I'm going to show you another amazing solution which is really fast so let's remove this one back to the main example I will add a column let's say I write if is odd months then provide the sales value else provide none so this is the result I will do the same for even case so let's say if is even months then provide the sales value else provide none and see the result okay now I select both these columns and use fill done transform and use fill done here see we have 69 value of the previous sales here and we have 81 value of the previous sales here so for the odd month the value of previous sales provided on this column and for the even months is provided on this column so I will add a new column again preview sales here if is odd months pick the value if it's odd pick the value of custom one so then custom one as custom and see the result here we do not need this column anymore we can remove it and see this is the result this is 69 81 39 it's provide the value of previous sales for each month and it is true that we add two columns then fill down then remove the column but it's really really quick for huge database also 
So if you have a huge database, I highly recommend to follow these process.